in this video, I'm going to replace the stock drum brakes on this Razor Pocket Mod with these hydraulic disc brakes. These hydraulic disc brakes provide better stopping power nearly half the distance over the stock ones. Everything you see here is bolt on, easily assembled. A link to that product is above and also in the description. Before we get started, I hope that you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Let's get after it. To remove the rear wheel, I need a 15 millimeter socket on one side and an additional 15 millimeter socket on this side. I'm going to first remove the chain guard here using some Philip head screws and then remove the wheel. I got the cover removed from the chain guard and now I'm going to move over here and remove the drum brake. I'm going to use an 8 millimeter socket here and then down here to loosen the brake cable bolt i'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket loosen that so when i loosen the axle bolts i can easily remove the wheel now move the chain off the sprocket over here set it to the side and then the wheel comes right out there we have it. I'm going to remove this brake. This is the drum brake that I need to remove and then attach the disc brake to. In order to remove the factory drum brake, you need to turn it counterclockwise and then install the disc brake. But to remove this, it's quite a task. They do make a tool that locks into these two holes and it's easily removed. But since I don't have that tool, I'm going to try a method I saw online. A gentleman said to put two bolts in here to use as leverage. I'm sure there's many other ways to remove this. So I'm going to install these two bolts with a nut. Okay, now I have the leverage to turn the wheel off. Now to loosen this, I need to go counterclockwise. All right, here's my vise. I have the two bolts installed in those holes. I'm going to slide it in like this. And then turn this counterclockwise. Nice. It spins right off freely. All right, there you have it. Now I have those threads exposed. This is the old drum brake. Now I'm going to install the new one on here. Before I thread that on, I'm just going to add a little anti-seize nice on here. You don't have to do this. I just like to do this so I can easily take things apart and I don't gall the threads. Now make sure your bolts are out and then thread this on. Now you want to make sure the threads are all the way down. This may not be ideal, but I had this leftover handle from a cabinet and I screwed it into one of these. And now I can use that to get leverage to tighten this on to the hub. All right, I think that's about as far as it can go. Now it's ready for reinstallation. Before I install the wheel with the new disc brake onto the frame, I need to install this bracket so that it'll hold the new caliper for the brakes. Now, if you use mechanical brakes, you can simply retain the original cable and hook it up to the mechanical caliper. I'm going to run a new cable and a lever up so I have the hydraulic brakes for additional stopping power with the higher speeds of this modified pocket mod. So I'm going to undo these bolts here so to get this installed what i'm going to do is use the thicker washer i'm going to place it here like that to give it the offset closer to the disc all right i got this bracket mounted on here it's about finger tight so i can adjust it now i'm going to reinstall the wheel i'm going to slide this up in here a 
I'm going to put this spacer on. See if that works. And then get this positioned. So I can slide the bracket between the spacer and the hub. I got the rear brake caliper mounted and everything is looking good, but some of the lessons learned. I should have ordered a 180 millimeter rotor instead of 160 millimeters because I had to make some adjustment and change out the brackets. But order the 180 millimeter rotor that's linked in the description and you can utilize this bracket. You're going to simply engage the axle here and then bolt it on here. You're only going to need one of these bolts and then this will bolt right on. You can also use this slightly more expensive BBR bracket. You're going to drill this out and then this mounts in here and then just simply bolt everything up. Now everything works great. I did have to make some adjustments as the rotor was uh, engaging on one side of the brake. So what I did here was I loosen these two bolts. This allows the brake to move in and out to engage the rotor from one side to the other. Once those are loose, I simply depress the brake to center the brake caliper on the rotor. And then keeping the brake depressed, I then tighten those bolts so that it's centered onto the rotor. Then I release the brake and everything is working great. So now I'm going to get this brake routed up to the handlebars. In order to route the brake cable up here to the handlebars, I'm going to need to remove the decking, this plastic here to run the brake under, and maybe the front. So I'm going to get that disassembled. Want to remove the grip up here, like that. And then I'm going to use five millimeter. That's a five millimeter hex. And I'm also gonna have to disconnect the brake cable from the controller. Feed that through along with the brake cable. In order to route the cables through this rubber piece, you got to kind of pop it up and feed it through, but the new brake is going to be difficult to route through that small opening. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it there and then I can slide everything through. I'm going to use a pair of industrial scissors. Make that slit. There is the old brake cable. So the new one, I'm going to route along here, then up, and attach the brake. Now I have a few extra wires because I added some really cool LEDs under the plastics and a headlight and taillight. You can see here and a horn up now this brake set is pre-bled so the cable might be a little bit long which I'm okay with I can always hide the extra length inside of here like this then slide it on And then slide this through here and into that rubber grommet. And now I'm going to get this positioned how I would like it, which is right about there. 
and tighten that down with the five millimeter. Want to, I can reinstall this grip. There we go. Now that brake is nice. Now, what I'm going to do is zip tie this here. I have a little bit of an excess. What I think I'm going to do is route this over. I'll just do some sort of loop inside of here. And then the excess you won't see once I put the cover on. I wanted to show you how I routed the brake cable. It goes up and around the motor so it wouldn't touch and burn against the motor if it got hot. And then it comes down, routes along here, then up. And you can see the excess is here. That'll be covered by the plastic, then routes out through that hole. And then up here to the handlebars. Looks really good. Now I'm going to reinstall the plastics. Last but not least, put the chain protective cover back on. The upgraded hydraulic disc brakes are a big improvement over the stock ones. It stops in half the distance. I hope that you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments. Thanks for watching.